Hi friends. Sorry, didn't dress up for the video this afternoon. I've been throwing together my ride up into Chula Vista, um, the top of the hill and the top of the real estate prices here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Uh, come along for the ride. I, I know some of the houses up there personally and I got some stories. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, I'm practicing with my computer map, so let's see how this works. This is Ahihik, and today we're going to go over here to Chula Vista. This is the golf course, and we're going to drive around in this neighborhood. The other day, I was down here in San Antonio, and from right here, I was talking to the fisherman while he was cleaning fish, and I took a shot of what I called the baby bottle houses. Right there is where they are. And I'm going to go and drive around the backside of them today. There are a lot of very large, very fancy, very expensive homes up in this area. And when I say uh, I'm going to go up there where the other half lives, You'll see what I mean. I do know the history of a couple of them, and I'll talk to you as we're driving around. A couple of more orientations here. This is where Walmart is. The other day we walked into the Hotel Real de Chapala right here. When my um, video of La Floresta, this is Lower La Floresta. This is Upper La Floresta, and again, back to Ahihik. Let's go for a ride. Sorry about the shaky camera. This was before I had the dash cam that I did the review on. So, I'm just holding my Panasonic video camera out the top of the convertible with my hand. These black and white and yellow framed domes up here is one of the houses that I want to tell you a story about. But I'll go all the way around the block and come back when those people are standing right there loading up their truck while I'm talking. This is very, very much uphill. We're looking across at Chula Vista Norte, which is on the other side of the Libramento. That uh, thing there is a water tank. Down here at the end of this dead-end street is probably the most famous house on the north shore of Lake Chapala. It's called the Palacio del Sol, the Palace of the Sun. Not a very imposing entrance up here, but I took this aerial photography from a real estate site when it was for sale back in 2010. It's also called sometimes the Taj Mahal of Mexico. You can't miss it driving up and down the North Shore of Lake Chapala. Now we're going to go up and look at the back side of the baby bottle houses.
as we turn the corner here, we're taking the street that takes you up to the highest point you can drive in Chula Vista. And these are the entrances to the baby bottle houses. Not very impressive from here. Much more impressive from below. Now this house is the highest house in Chula Vista and my friends Kirby and Kay used to live there. And Kirby and I would ride our ATVs through this gate, didn't used to be a gate, up to a radio tower up there and then we'd get in trouble for being someplace we weren't supposed to be. Kay was a Cajun and um, if you got invited to their house to eat gumbo, it was the real deal and I miss it. Kay, Kirby, if you're listening, it was grand. Kay and Kirby moved back to the States and sold that house. I used to have people come to visit me and they'd be with me for a week or ten days in my house and then we'd get invited up to Kirby's house and they would say things like, oh, we thought your house was fantastic, why didn't you bring us up here before? The house right here on the right, I wanted to buy that house. It had marble floors that were cracked because it was sliding down the hill, but I loved this house. Lynn wouldn't let me buy it because she didn't want to drive up the hill. That vacant lot, that came with it, and I wanted it. It was actually one of the big fights that Lynn and I had. In retrospect, I'm so glad I've got her. This white thing here was there the first time I came up here in 2002. Somebody started it and never finished it and it's never been worked on since I've been here. It is for sale, there's a sign. We're going on down the road here, and we're going to take a left turn. Oh, it was so bumpy that I just took still pictures as I'm coming down the hill here. I just grabbed still pictures out of the video because it would have made you sick to see my hand bouncing around. Maybe my arm got tired. If you look out there, you can see a little slice of Lake Chapala way in the distance. We're back at that house I wanted to tell you about. I know the man that built this house. He was a friend. His name was Franz, and Franz was from Switzerland. One of the stories from another friend that knew Franz was that he was so particular about this that he would stand up on the scaffolding and hand those black and white tiles to the guy that was building the house one at a time, making sure that they were placed just the way he wanted them. Franz owned a slick paper fashion magazine in Europe. This is a collage of pages from his magazine that Franz gave me. This is hanging in my dining room but it used to hang in those houses we're looking at. Franz sold this house and he went and bought a property down in Riberas de Pilar, which is below this down towards the lake. And uh, he built another property. We call it the Pyramid House.
Now watch very closely. I figured out how to disappear. This is the inside front door of the pyramid house. The courtyard. That's Franz. The parlor. This is the bedroom and that m mural on the wall is three-dimensional. This is a pyramid hot tub out in the courtyard. And if you're going to have an Egyptian style house, you need an Egyptian style cat. There was a shower in that pyramid house, the entrance of which was you walked in a circle like going into a seashell. This bathroom is in my house. And I have to tell you that that shower in the pyramid house was the inspiration for me to build this shower. By the way, a lot of people loved my uh, toilet in my last video. Did you notice the reading light? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to film the floor because then you can see the curve. So we go around and around and around and around into the shower. And uh, that shower in the pyramid house, that was some of the inspiration for me to build mine like this. That scarring on the hill up there was supposedly going to be a Las Vegas style casino and hotel and uh, a whole bunch of theories about what it was going to be. I don't know. As we go around the corner, this is the steepest hill of any that I know up here in Chula Vista. You'll see a couple of red posts down here. Used to be more of a Chinese looking gate and this is a huge property in the middle of Chula Vista that used to be owned by a, some Chinese people. The story was that they had purchased it and never ever come to see it. It's been sold and divided up into several smaller properties I think. Oh, this house down here, <laughs> I'm always laughing at this because uh, did you really need to have two extra feet in that room hanging out over the street? Really, pushing the envelope. <laughs> I love Mexico. Well, we've made a circle again, and this house over here on the corner is that white one that was never finished. You should buy it and uh, fix it up. This is the last house on the right side before we start seeing the golf course. I've never been a golfer. I tried. I've golfed at the Divi Golf Club in the Bahamas and on the Costa del Sol in Spain. I've golfed at a very exclusive club in Sacramento, but the bug just never bit me. Don't ask me how much the green fees are. I'm not a golfer. Oh, speaking of golf, you may find this interesting if you are a golfer. Twin Shafts by Robert. So let's let's see you swing there, Randy. Yeah. We have this prototype golf club. My friend Robert invented this golf putter, and he didn't do well because the PGA ruled that it worked so well it would be a disadvantage for other players. This is my friend Robert. That's the clubhouse on the right. Down here on the left, the green fence is uh, tennis courts. 
And here at the highway, the Carretera, you're going to see the hospital where Lynn got her broken ribs wrapped in one of my recent videos. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.